Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, September 1st, Reichwell Armstead. Photo by Mitchell left Getty Images this weekend, all 32 teams in the NFL will have the ability to evaluate 335 prospects at the 2019 NFL Combine. This event, dubbed the Underwear Olympics, allow teams to gain insight on a prospect's medical history, athleticism, and character through the interview process. For the layman, we love to talk about one event, the 40-yard dash. That number has become oddly significant for us when viewing any prospect. Seeing John Ross run a 4.22 second 40-yard dash set social media on fire and football fans got to rejoice seeing a new number for the first time. For football teams, they are hoping the prospects they show an interest in have the perfect combine. They want to see good medical records, they want to have memorable interviews, and they want to make sure they meet the ideal athleticism. Obviously not all athleticism is measured by quantitative data. We have numbers like 10-yard and 20-yard splits and vertical jumps but also the position-specific drills test the prospect's agility and acceleration. As per usual, the first day of drills at the Combine involved running backs and offensive linemen. Both groups completed their bench pressing on Thursday and completed the other drills today. Here were the top five prospects in bench press and the 40-yard dash from both groups. All of these numbers were from NFL.com and so will the other future numbers in this article. Offensive lineman bench press, Ayasua Apeta, Weebor State 39 reps Garrett Bradbury, North Carolina State 34 reps Bill Haynes, Wake Forest 33 reps Iodney Cahoos Day, West Virginia 32 reps Schedult Froholt, Arkansas 31 repeats running backs bench press, Alex Barnes, Kansas State 34 reps Jalen Moore, Appalachian State 27 reps Shelia Holyfield, Georgia 26 reps Rodney Anderson, Oklahoma 25 reps Miles Gaskin, Washington 24 reps offensive lineman 40 yard Eric McCoy, Texas A. Boston College, 4.91 S. Garrett Bradbury, North Carolina State, 4.92 Sandra Dillard, Washington State, 4.96 Siasua Apeta, Weber State, 5.02s Running Backs, 40 Yard, Justice Hill, Oklahoma State, 4.40 Shrikewell Armstead, Temple, 4.45 Short and Scarlet, Florida, 4.47 Smike Weber, Ohio State, 4.47 Stravis Homer, Miami, 4.48 SSO with these covered, let's dive into some prospects that stood out on the first day of drills. Next, Garrett Bradbury, NC State, center page to use your arrows to browse Charlotte, NC, September 2nd, Naheem Hines. Photo by Streeter Letska, Getty Images Bradbury was already a top 5 interior lineman but he might have just established himself as the best in this draft class. This is a tweet from Hall of Fame Vice President of Player Personnel for the Dallas Cowboys Gil Brandt posting his ideal times and numbers for each position on Twitter. The reason I bring this up is because these were Brad Berry's, measurables, 40-yard dash, 4.92 seconds bench press, 34 reps vertical jump, 31 in chest bro jump, 8 feet 8 in 3 cone drill, 7.4120 yard shuttle, 4.53 seconds Brad Berry passed every time or measurement that Brandt has on his chart. His three-cone drill and 40-yard dash are considerably better than the ideal threshold for any guard center on Brandt's chart. For Bradbury, the 40 won't be anything more than a moral victory, but his fast three-cone drill time is quite notable. For someone at Bradbury's size, his agility is amazing. On film, he is good at moving defensive line, and while many believe that was due to his intellect, his agility in these drills show that may have impacted his play just as much. Bradbury was the top 15 talent in this draft before the combine and this combine helped his case. It's unknown if you will rise, stay, or fall for that is up to the randomness of the draft but you can expect that teams will be paying more attention to him for weeks to come. Next, Reichwell Armstead, Temple, running back use your arrows to browse.